Okay. Hello, I'm Gwendolyn Hunt. I'm with Sedex's uh, Portland, Oregon company. I'm part of the infrastructure team. Talk briefly about global scale, multi-cloud, multi-CDN, load balancing with C++. The subtitle to this, C++ saved our bacon. So who is Sedexis? Enterprise SaaS company focused on application performance. We use real-time data collected from around the world. We have 900 people using our free services, 900 customers, 190 that pay us for our paid services. And we collect 14 billion real user ex uh, experience measurements every single day. Okay, the way we collect it is through a uh, mechanism called uh, real user monitoring. Essentially, we put a small JavaScript tag, what the industry calls it, on every web page and that communicates when it executes with various data collection um, servers that we get information for latency throughput um, a bunch of stuff about video um, we it's totally free as far as the radar is concerned a lot of people can use it you just sign up for it 100 million unique several hundred million unique contributors per day and we have an unbiased comparison of all cdns and clouds in existence uh, it supports all user platforms, browser types, you know, you know, all kinds of devices. This is an example of our real-time heat map. Uh, it shows a particularly noisy time in the internet, but basically these pulses and things indicate uh, disruptions or changes in uh, in throughput. Uh, we look at over 40,000 networks on a daily basis. Uh, this is built for today's dynamic infrastructure, a combination of hybrid cloud, and that what that means is a, a customer may have their own data centers, but they augment by using uh, public clouds like AWS or Azure, uh, multi-CDN. Companies use more than one CDN, like SoftLayer and, and, and um, EdgeCast and Level 3 or hybrid architectures with a combination of all, and some customers build their own CDN equivalents. Okay, OpenMix is what we make our money on, and this is what does the, glo the global load balancing. We take the input from radar, and we could take some optional third-party input through this <clears throat> feature we call Fusion. The Sedexis infrastructure consists of hundreds of servers. I can't tell you exactly how many, but they're located in multiple clouds and CDNs all over the planet, supports radar, open mix, customer portal, and cloud-based database. Essentially, we follow a microservice architecture, and, and if you look at it, if you're familiar with pipes and filters, I'm sure almost everybody here is, um, that's, that's our two main way we build our things. Our technology stack, we started with Python, and then Python with C. In the last couple of years, we migrated to C++11 because Python, while it worked, it was cool, it was not performant. Mix of open source and proprietary code. Uh, all infrastructure services generally follow a pattern of one or more input streams. We do some massaging of the data, and we have one or more output streams. We use HTTP protocols, zero MQ messaging, for, and the prevailing content is either protobuf or JSON. Our core async engine is live event plus Facebook folly. Um, Facebook Proxygen we use for the server side HTTP, live curl in our own C++ wrapper for the client side. We execute some client side JavaScript and V8 containers. And we have a bunch of database APIs for BigQuery, ClickHouse, and S3. We put a lot of data into Google's BigQuery. Uh, working context, we have very large hash tables that span many gigabytes. And that's for collecting all the score information from the real-time data. We're multi-core aware. Um, we generally do a thread per core, and we have minimal locking. And the way we do that, every single thread has a complete copy of the full context, the work context. So we consume a lot of room, uh, a RAM. <clears throat> we measure things and decisions by uh, the second. Some servers typically do 35,000 decisions a second. We do see servers do 100,000. We got a couple that do a 200,000 decisions a second. That's five microseconds. And the, a typical example would be a DNS query comes in. We look up all the different endpoints. We gather all the scoring information, send it to the, to the scoring engine, make a decision, and send back the response. And that's five microseconds. 
Uh, challenges for a global company, um, we're 70 some odd people, headquarters, half of us are in Portland, a uh, big office in Paris, London, New York, and San Francisco. We're a small engineering team, that's a challenge. There's only 20 of us that are not including SEs, and it's really hard to simulate the world. <laughs> okay, any questions? <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, right. <laughs>